Picking up a new trade so healthcare workers can fight the coronavirus, ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee shows us the products two Bay Area men are making and why they hope others will catch on. Healthcare workers say they are dangerously low on supplies, but two men right here in the Bay Area have 3D printers and say they can help. Jonathan Barnes is a fine arts professor at SPC in Pinellas. Andrew Watson builds furniture in Tampa. And while both of these men are on opposite sides of the bay, they're joining the battle against the coronavirus. The people that are on the front line of this don't have the right supplies. Like we wouldn't send soldiers into battle without you know, proper protection. It's why they both independently decided to use their 3D printers to create face masks and shields. If you have the ability to print a mask and you have a 3D printer sitting there, it's it's kind of your service to do this now. They share in their motivation. Jonathan has friends in the medical field. Andrew's mom works in radiology in South Florida. She's been really nervous about everything. It takes three hours to print a mask, which can be washed and reused. All you need is an N95 insert. There's a company in Montana, I believe, that's shipping out small two inch by two inch N95 mask material that you can insert. It takes two hours for Jonathan to print two shields and says a handful of friends are printing two. The clear part, the mylar, I'm cutting with, you know, a X-Acto knife and a roller. I mean, art supplies save the day, I guess. The designs are not patented, which means anyone can use them. And these two hope more people will. Now we've posted links to those designs on our website, abcactionnews.com, if you would like to make your own. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.